Welcome to Jamila's Stamping Grounds. Today is part three in the final video in a three-part series on the Heartfelt Banner Kit. It makes a beautiful banner as you can see here, but in these videos we've been repurposing the elements in the kit to create cards and gift bags. Today we have these elements left that we're going to use to create a pocket on the outside of a gift bag and the matching card. We have banner pieces and canvas, some pom-poms, mini clothes pins, two paper banners, a doily, and some twine. And here is the gift bag with the matching card that we're going to be creating with these leftover elements. The first thing we're going to do is make our card. What we're going to do to start that is take our two paper roses tags and we're going to take about eight inches of twine for each tag and we're going to thread it through the already existing holes at the top of the tag and tie the ends together and create a bow. This is to be done on both tags. On one of the tags you will also want to stamp the happy day or a birthday greeting. I used happy day from the happy day set for the card. Then we will take the two banner pieces that are identical, that long and narrow like this, and we will take our marker and start to do a running stitch detailing all along the outside of the banner and all the way along the bottom and just going about halfway up the other side as these inner pieces will be hidden behind our paper banner. You do it on both of them, opposite side, outer sides, all the way around again, just to halfway. Then we will take the doily and fold it in half, and we will take the left banner piece and adhere it right to the outside edge of the doily and against the crease. Then we will take the right side banner piece right to the outside edge of the doily but simply move it down about half an inch so that you get a, an edge where they're not, they're uneven edge at the bottom of the banner pieces. Then I would take the tag that you have stamped your greeting on and have put your twine bow and glue that to the right to the top of the doily edge. And I would take that whole piece and glue it to the front of your card that was um, a card base from Naturals Ivy and glue that on. Then I took one of the tiny mini clothespins and adhered it into the corner by the doily. Then you have created your gift card that will match the bag and its pocket. Now to create the pocket for the bag we're going to use the bigger canvas pieces. What you would like to do first is as you can see here I've done a bit of um, fraying on the top edges of the banner pieces. So what you would do is you would simply take this and start to fray it. As it, I'm just starting to fray it like this. And I'll show you under a dark piece of cardstock how I've just started to frame, to fray the edge. Oops, sorry. There it is. Now, once you get to a certain length of 
fringe that you would like here, the frayed part, you will start to take out the threads, but don't take them all the way off because the canvas is cut on an angle to the selvage, and so you just leave those pieces out and you just keep taking them out until you get the same depth of fringe all the way along. Then you simply take your scissors and cut off that excess fringe. Then you will be left with the same fringe all the way along. And now we would take our fringed pieces and we'll start to do the detailing on these as we had done on the smaller banner pieces. On the triangles on each outer side, and I did the detailing all the way along the edge, all the way up to about the middle on the other side for both triangles, and I repeated that on the inside edge. And as well, where the fringes are level at the top, I found the same point to start the detailing on the curved banner piece with the heart in it, all the way up to match. Then you can take your banner pieces and simply I use Tombow glue to adhere that tiny little portion right here together on both sides. Oops. Then tr that will create the effect of a pocket as we can see we have done here is create the pocket. Then I glued on my paper banner over top of the heart opening, added some clothespins across the fringing at the top, used some twine and a needle to attach all the pom-poms left together and attach them at the handle. And then you have your completed card and gift bag and we've used every piece and every element within the kit for repurposing on gift bags and cards. Thank you very much for stopping by at Jamila's Stamping Grounds.